हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेरी गुड इवनिंग वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल टैलेंट ट्रेडर्स दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द स्कैनर ऑन डेली टाइम फ्रेम व्हिच आई एम गोइंग टू क्रिएट सो नीड टू फाइंड फॉर अ स्पून ट्रेडिंग लाइक काइंड ऑफ स्कैनर व्हिच आई एम गोइंग टू क्रिएट हियर इन दिस वीडियो सो लुक एट दिस चार्ट सो थ्री कंसेक्यूटिव टाउन कैंडल्स एट दिस पॉइंट so we find a swing bottom so after this consecutive down trend so we find out a trend reversal and it is giving you such a, a good result from this bottom like a swing trading so that we are going to create with charting scanner so how to create that i am going to show you in this video and you can follow the steps and you can create that uh, best uh, swing trading scanner in charting and that we are going to step by step i'm going to show you how to we find out such a kind of stock that is happening on 25 8 uh, 2023 and a lot of stocks so we need to find such a pattern let me go for icic bank also i seen that mm -hmm. at uh, some points i uh, given you such a pattern so we are going to find out that pattern on icic bank where it is happen something like i seen in uh, exactly that pattern is for a reversal and for a swing trading and uh, in stock option position here is the pattern so you can see three consecutive down candle which is happening here and we find out a green candle and uh, then it a uh, high is broken and it is giving you such a good result at least uh, using the swing trading scanner so we can get 1 to 2% at least our what is the stop loss for that particular daily candle that much of percentage which we can look for so for example this was an almost a 1.7 percent and it gives you so more than three percent so how we can easily make two to three percent with this positional scanner that i'm going to discuss in this video and don't skip the video at any point of the time so you may not understand what the condition which i'm going to build it okay so main main logic is to find out after three consecutive down, down days we have to find out a, a bottom uh, as a green candle and we are looking for a swing breakout or a swing trading so that we can use uh, by daily scanner so we are not going to use for an intraday it is purely for a daily so let me create on the charting okay so i'm just going to create the scan as as you know how to create and just go for futures so why it is a future and option stocks always having good liquidity and volume so i simply taken a future and option shares and uh, here we are going to use three consecutive days i am not going to use any uh, custom indicator here here so using a, the free tool which is available with the charting that i am going to use to create so three consecutive days uh, so we need to get the red candle so the red candle is simply the open is sorry close is less than open all right so what i'm just going to plan with so three red candles we need to plot so how to plot a three red candles simply we are going to use the close always less than the open the close price it must be less than uh, open price so this may be a red candle but we are uh, not going to take a current day as a red candle we need a current day as a green candle so previous three candles should be a red so i will go for one day ago and two days so one day ago so this will plot you three consecutive red candles one day ago and two days ago and three days ago so if you are using this uh, it will be going to flat uh, three consecutive red candles so for example uh, canfin home delta cap india cements india blossoming bonus or uh, today is maybe a positive and last three days it should be a negative one so let me go for a canfin home whether it is working or not so can be no so last three days is a negative and today is a positive day maybe uh we are looking for a, such a pattern but it is not an exact pattern which we are looking for so three consecutive down candle that's okay and some of the stocks like uh sba and also be the same three consecutive down days yeah but uh here today also be it is down three consecutive down days and today also be the down but we if we are comparing from today the one two three candle down but it is not in order it is not in the 
way of a downtrend. It was what a negativity very flat. So we need to get a clear downtrend. So after that downtrend, we should find out an opportunity for a bullish one. So for example, here you can see uh, this is what a downtrend, clear downtrend. So can you able to see one, two, three consecutive such a kind of candle we are going to direct there. So three consecutive down candle and how to we uh, go for this. So three days consecutive down days. Okay, that's good enough. And each and every day uh, should be uh, lower. So simply we can copy this and we can drag down. Okay, so one day ago low. So simply one day ago low must be less than two days ago low. Consecutive downtrend. So we are going to filter out and the same which we can copy and uh, two days ago low must be less than three days ago low. Simple. So three consecutive candles which are using and if you filter out so a lot of stocks will be removed. So without this condition if you are looking for uh, the scanner for receiving trading so almost we have a 15 stocks while if you are applying this one so we remove almost uh, two stocks. Okay that's good. So let me go for a Vipro. Three consecutive down days. You can see one, two, three consecutive down days because we are using one day ago. So today is not about countable one. Okay. So one more thing which we are going to use and today should be the positive candle. Okay. So that is what an important. So open, sorry, close. Simply open close is the main condition. Open greater than one should be greater than the sorry close is greater than the open so this will fetch last three days is a negative candle and today should be a positive candle okay so you can see almost 13 stocks if i use this filter rather than the open so i'll be getting only six stocks what uh when we get it last three days the stocks are going down but today it wasn't positive stocks so delta cup after the result it was moves down and maybe today uh it would be a positive stocks so delta cup maybe and uh, you can see last three consecutive down days and today it will be a positive day that's great okay so and one more stock like uh canfin home and india cements whether it is working right or wrong so canfin home after three consecutive days what's happening here this particular three consecutive days and today's open is right but previous day showing you green candle sorry that should be canfin home not a kendra bank Three consecutive down day. This is what a day where we get a, some good opportunity. And today it engulfs all the three candles which is happening. But if you don't expect that kind of movement, maybe the reversal or maybe some result. So India will housing finance. So I will housing finance what's happening here. Three consecutive down days and today it was. So what I'm exactly looking for here also, you can see the three consecutive down candle and here the next day the open must be low of this previous candle that should be a after three consecutive red candle what i'm exactly looking for three consecutive red candle so maybe the first one is a red and the second one is a red and third one is a red okay so this will uh, be lower should be greater than so you can see this kind of pattern which i'm going to looking for okay and for today, the initially the stock open below or equal to this level. So that means it is a red one. But finally, it may be closing as a green candle. So that is what an exact reversal or exact swing trading point where I'm looking for. It should be a green candle. And about to this high, I'm just going to look for a reversal. Maybe the low should I can keep a stop. So that is what my conditions. So, okay, so all three this we created as of now, but high. So, should, should be lowest then. So, only we are creating the condition for the low only. So, same like that, we should create for a high. So, we can create that highest level. So, one day go high. High also, we need to expect less than the previous day. I think, see this guy. Okay, so here we are going to use for a high, one day ago high and uh, less than two days ago high. So that would be finding out uh, the stock which forming a such a pattern like this. 
so three consecutive down candle okay so the higher should be lower level compared to the previous one so using this condition we are going to create that one three days ago low and maybe uh, we are going to back test the result after sometimes after creating this candle okay so if you are using only six stocks no problem at all so that was satisfying that particular conditions okay and uh, most important conditions so that one is a green candle that we are dragged down so one more condition which we are going to add that is what the main condition from the scanner that is what a main conditions okay i think it's working right i can't yeah so the daily open that means the latest to open i think some issues is that here is the condition the open price this must be less than or equal to this is the other important condition less than or equal to low of one day ago okay, this is a perfect scanner which we are going to find out a stock which i am exactly looking for so if you have seen this conditions we don't get any stocks here and look at the back test to stocks is very few and it may be we are going to use for a positional one or uh, we are going to use for a investment purpose at the lowest level so if this conditions which you ignore so we will be getting a lot of stocks if you are looking at the back test this much of stocks daily we are getting stocks so that is not a good enough so if you are getting any stocks on daily we can't use for an uh, investment purpose and also the condition which we are using at the stock which coming at the lowest level and initially it's showing the strength weakness and it is closed to positive and it was showing you the strength of that particular uh, day so that will give you clear trend change on that particular stock that is giving you good opportunity for our positional swing trades so that is the concept which i am going to use for uh, this particular scanner and it is i am not using any uh, indicators or any other uh, I'm not using any other uh, custom indicators it's about the, the daily close and open that's good enough for us we just uh, like to create right so this condition if you are using huge stocks so it's not good so adding this condition that will giving you such a good opportunity and we don't get any stocks very less number of stocks where we can back test here so maybe this is a, a one on 13th october balram shini in about india Balram Shini. Look at this one, two, three consecutive down days, and we find out our uh, 13th October. Maybe that high is our breakout point from 421. Okay, so the high is broken, and uh, let me go for uh, just 1.4 percent. And next day, it given you 2 percent after the breakout. So maybe one is to one that given, and that this on the same price, and that is what a uh, lower level buy about India. One more stock here is the one so how much percentage the risk you can decide because if it is an equity trade we can decide our risk is about 1.6 percent and uh, it gives you the maximum to 1.1 percent maybe still uh, we are waiting with this stop loss and we are looking for buying the stock at the lowest level and that conditions which satisfies what we are looking for three consecutive down candle so you can see uh, the higher level is less than and uh, again less than lower level is less than again less than and uh, today's open is less than so maybe a negative day by opening but finally it closed by the positive day so maybe the trend change should be possible in the next day it moves some opportunities but today we don't get any stocks uh, we are filtering out the stocks for not getting much stocks so that is working well so maybe one percent and uh, two days back on 9th october ashok Leyland dixon mariko an idea so let me go for ashok Leyland how this works and you can also do the back test so this is what a trade and the lower level we are finding after a consecutive down in the train so we find such a pattern and this i should be our breakout from 173 it went up to 178 so what is the risk which you have tried in this kind of three percent and it went up to maximum more than three percent that's good enough in ashokal island okay and uh, dixon and mariko so let me go to check dixon 
it's a huge one look at this after three consecutive days and we are looking for a stop loss is 2.5 percent now it is almost six percent that's good enough and mariko idea is a low value stocks so i'm not going to focus but if you want to check and this is what an entry point 9th october from that level still it is in a higher and the idea cellular idea that's also be great 9th october from that level of 11 rupees now 12 rupees 1 rupee is a good a huge move the most 8 percent so the risk also be a 7 8 percent okay you can see the value of the stock is very low that's why 8 percent and uh, randomly you can do the back test here uh, only one stock bel 22 second bel 22 maybe this point and uh, after the high is broken but maybe next day it is not broken and the uh, 26th only given you the breakout and maybe the stop loss or even the swing low is still not broken maybe from that level 136 and it went up to maximum 141 so maybe percentage wise at least two to three percent is good enough so three percent that's go that's good and uh, one more stock and randomly you can look at this point Concar ICAC and Gadrej properties and 14.8. So that we have already discussed. Concar container corporation. Uh, the date is around 14.8. So here is the date. The high is broken at this point. From there it moves. It's a positional one ICAC and Gadrej properties. ICAC bank 24.8. Fourteen eight, sorry. Maybe this the high is broken, and that is from nine twenty six. It went up to nine ninety seven. That's good. Godrej properties. Here is the point. Maybe this one is triggers a stop loss. After the stop loss, it moves well. So where I am going to take on a risk of a three percent. Initially, it given a next day breakout, and it maybe triggers a stop loss. The second time which triggers and that, that time it was not came to the stop loss. Maybe initially it triggers and then it has having a chances of 9%. Okay, but initially it was triggered. So here we can uh, get the some stock which triggers a stop loss also be there. And maybe here around uh, July 5 JK cement. So I hope you understood JK cement on July 5. Where it is July. Hmm. 24th May, June, July, maybe this. And here is the point where it is giving you some movement and one more point here, but it is not below the low, but it was giving you such a good movement, but that is not a three candles low also. So simple the scanner, which we are going to find out and you can uh, go for a back test. So this is what a simple scanner that giving you. So maybe random one here on uh, August 7 ITC. ITC 7th August, maybe 13th August, maybe here 7th August. Here is the point, and this one is the triggers of a stop loss. Maybe initially triggered, and maybe trigger our stop loss from uh, 456 to 450, and maybe a six rupees. That's not a big, and we are losing that trade, so no problem. So if any other trade which came, so we can go for. And the same time, Gandhi's properties. Again, seven. This time we seen that ITC we missed out, no problem, and uh, here. This is here take on 13.7. So this is what a scanner 13.7 year and then it has given you the breakout from 1123 with the stop loss. Still, if the stop loss is not broken, and within a three, four days it given you 1175, but right now it went up to 13. So we are not expecting that kind of movement. Simply we can expect the 20-25%, sorry, 2 to 3 percent. That's very simple with this scanner, and this is what a scanner. So I showed you the scanner, how to create I, uh, how I created the scanner and also you can just go for the scanner will help you to make and positional trades with an equity with the risk free divided risk. Maybe you can decide your own risk with uh, the scanner. So thank you so much for watching this, uh, the perfect scanner for a swing trading. And if you have any doubt and questions and just comment on the comment box. Thank you for watching. And if you want to access my premium scanner group it's a paid group which is available so if you want you can join my paid group also it's a one-time access and the fees is around three thousand rupees thank you for watching thank you so much this scanner is going to be um, 
so that means i added on the group and soon thank you so much thanks for watching and if you are new kindly subscribe and hit the like button if you like it thank you